This week's pick a card reading is for when life feels too difficult and there's just times when there's either one thing or everything happening in our lives that feel out of control. I have some messages for you here from the universe and there's a reason why this reading has found its way to you. So come join me for a reading and let's see what the universe has to say. Hi everyone, welcome back for another oracle card reading for the heart and soul. I am Cheryl Lee Hernish. I am the author of The Path of the Soul, Divine Guidance, and Return of Spirit deck. And all the information on the decks are down below in the video description. And we are going to be using all three decks today. And also, before we get started, um, I am thinking about doing an ASMR card reading slash spiritual video. And I, I love ASMR, and if you aren't familiar with it, you can find lots about it online. If you are familiar with it, let me know down in the comments below if that's something that you would be interested in having. Okay, so our pick a card reading is for when life feels too hard. Okay, now we have some beautiful new Buddhas. I'm so excited. They're just like my other ones, only they're chakra colored. So. Choice number one is our little peace Buddha. Choice number two is our prayers Buddha. Let's see. Oh, I like this guy. P uh, pick number three is the uh, Harmony Buddha. And this one here is our Wisdom Buddha. Okay. So, as always, Choose the cards the way that resonates best for you. Pick one reading, all readings, whatever your heart desires. There are no rules here. And I'm going to get started with our first reading. Hi, group number one. How are you? Okay, let's get started with our little peace Buddha. Let's stick him over here. Let's see which way our cards are going. We'll go this way. And this is advancements nice loved ones mm. nurturing universe Ooh. revelations caretaker and the voice card okay um, you know, right off the bat, I feel like there's a little bit of relationship stuff happening here, but I have to say that, um, it feels like this is affecting more than just, um, like your intimate relationships, that this is somehow affecting your relationships in general and maybe even your life because with the caretaker card coming up here, a lot of this is talking about, you know, how we, we learn relationship from our family, how we learn from those interactions, and that through those interactions, you know, there's very, very few of us who grow up with this ideal, perfect um, family and life. And so there's, there's something here with that caretaker card about growing up in a, in a way that taught you codependence versus interdependence and with that caretaker card i mean i feel like because the loved ones card has shown up as well as this caretaker card i feel like um you guys have are working through your relationship stuff and seeing how um how who you are believed yourself to be perceived yourself to be from how it is that you were raised is now you're starting to see how that actually is affecting you out in the world and i feel like there's a working through a lot of family stuff personal growth going on here a big one with caretaker um aside from learning how to do healthy relationships um there's a lot about learning our value our value, our extrinsic value as a human being, um, because boundaries come into play here. So I really feel like, you know, 
perhaps people haven't, people or someone specific, right, haven't been treating you with the kind of respect, care, and concern that you deserve. And it's really about coming into this place where you can say, okay, you know, <laughs> I'm healing now. And a part of this healing for me is about creating a safety zone that anybody who enters into the safety zone is good people, right? And that they have your best interests, concerns at heart and in mind, okay? The other thing with the caretaker card is, you know, because we're setting boundaries and stuff, and the other card that came out with it is the voice card. And I really see this as two big, beautiful vocal cords. So in an essence, this is about standing up for yourself, speaking up for yourself. And that doesn't, I'm, I'm not meaning like being confrontational, but having, having a place here that you create for yourself, like that safety zone, like I was saying, where you're free to express because there's something about needing to communicate what is happening for you with another person, whether this is one or many. Um, and I do feel like this is more personal relationships versus work, but that's not to say this is a general reading, so that could be. Now, I find this really interesting that two of your cards are kind of pointing to the same thing. So this is the advancement card from the divine guidance deck and this one is like majestic this guy so I hope he's coming out clear on the uh, on camera and this one is revelations now both of these cards this is from the path of the soul so you've got two cards from two different decks that are talking about changes now but I want to talk about this one first because, you know, this reading is focused on when life feels too hard. And Revelations is, is about coming to these epiphanies and insights and, and things opening up in a way in your life with the people that you're involved with in the situations that are happening right now, that it's almost like more is revealed here. And in that revealing, you gain this different perspective. It's, it's just like seeing, instead of just one little piece of a truth that someone wants to have you see, it's like this opens up because this literally looks like this, this flower opening. And through that, through whatever event is coming up here and actually starting to see more of the picture of what's going on out there you have this you know new perspective in a way that leads you to be able to make this one talks about choices and decisions and this one is talking about seeing the truth through things to initiate and make change and so both of these cards are about changes both of these cards are about changes that you initiate. So this isn't that kind of thing where we wait for the circumstances to just do their thing in our life outside of us. This is you taking power, taking control, claiming your voice. And through this, what is revealed here, making some choices and decisions. And both of these cards do talk about whether that's deciding to move or end relationships or even begin new relationships because this theme, this theme is so strong in around relationships. So I feel like I have to say to just hold on because what you are going through now is a process of growth. And I know that that can be really difficult when we have these relationship challenges but what that's doing is actually bringing you to this place of higher perspective. And through that understanding, you start to see your own thoughts and beliefs that have been contributing to these circumstances around you. And it puts you in a place where you are more empowered in your heart to be able to 
look at these situations and make heart-centered decisions versus being in this mind space of that emotional mind space and it has all that kind of you know chaotic energy and you're just trying to scramble to make a choice this these and i mean this is this is the um this card is talking about purposeful intentional change and it's called advancements not i hope it gets better soon right and that actually move you forward in your life in your relationships and you will see it i mean because it mirrors out in so many ways in our lives and through these choices and decisions that you're making like i really the two things i feel the most with these changes it feels like either moving or a change in your life living situation and relationships themselves and through that it betters things for you and it almost starts you know it's that snowball effect that as you gain this perspective and see things differently and you make just one or two small choices then it begins to build up on itself now the other card that's sitting here and this is why i get that feeling of family is because the loved ones card is up now with that loved ones card what that is talking about is you know our our people who have passed over and whether that is like family our close family or friends love people that we love who are now on the other side acting like our guardian angels and in a way this is this card is saying that you aren't alone in this situation and you know i know that it can feel difficult because there's such a disconnect and if you're saying oh i don't know anyone who's passed over we all have ancestors you know like great grandmothers great grandfathers all of that and our our family lineage of souls they they are here to support us and grow with us so i really feel like with what's happening here and especially with these changes that you have to make i feel like you're getting a lot of support here and i don't know normally say it with this card but i really feel this time that um I'm going to encourage you to start looking for signs from your loved ones out here in physical reality and whether that's like smelling their perfume or smelling the bacon they would cook every Sunday you know I don't know how the sign is going to show up for you maybe it's a rose or a butterfly I don't know but there's something about looking for those signs because it gives you that feeling of support because the other card that we have here is the nurturing universe card now this one is amazing and it has it's actually two spirals that are joined together and spiraling out and with nurturing universe with any of the readings where spirals show up spirals that's how the, the universal energy moves that's how galaxies are created that's how healing energy moves and so there's a lot of energy and movement happening in this reading and i mean just even the name of the card, Nurturing Universe, it's like, you know, you're getting that support that you need. So hold on, hold on with your heart, to your heart. Hold on to what's happening. You are getting through this and changes are coming. Now I feel like I wanna just grab you guys out two more cards here and let's just see what other messages come with this. Give her a quick shuffle. Okay, this one, and I feel this one, okay. So the, mm, now I told you this is about relationships and this is about change and I love it when the cards do this. So this is the card that came out. It's the union card. And I feel like, honestly, you guys, that union card, there's very few fractals that when I create them, when they, when they reveal themselves on the screen, that, that they're lighter colors. Normally, they're a bit darker. And this is one of the few that came out with whites and the gold, golden and white. And I mean, in one way, that's like, 
you know, the two highest forms of universal energy is golden and white. But the other thing with that union card is this is a card of relationships. This is a card of commitment and, and sincere partnership. So I, I really feel with everything that we've been talking about and this union card coming out that they're saying that these changes and everything that you've been going through is is exactly what I was saying that it is for your own growth so that you grow into a new better version of you where you're more self-aware and your thoughts and beliefs you work on changing those you do the personal growth work that you need so that you know in your heart that you are loved and you are lovable and you are valuable and you are wanted you are desired you are enough like I could go on here I'm excited because this is huge change for you guys okay and this is talking about that partner that that real partner I mean the one kind of person coming into your life at some point down this road here and I'm it's not far far away there's just some work and stuff that needs to happen on your end for this to happen and then and then with all of this said this is the other card that came out the manifest card and it is our thoughts, beliefs, perceptions, whatever is held within the subconscious, what lives inside of us, the, the voice that talks at us that says, um, you aren't enough and see, nobody can love you and blah, 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 that voice, changing those perspectives, that voice, the subconscious program that's been running since childhood that you need to work on. And in doing that, it actually changes what is being manifested out in your reality around you and then put these two together. It's literally talking about you manifesting your your ideal partner, like a spiritual partner, a, a soul partner. And I'm not gonna use the word to win flame or soul mate. None of that, there's no label for it. It's This is just someone who supports you in your heart, in your soul, in your life, emotionally, mentally, physically, right? Compatible. So this is a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, which is much more detailed and specific to you, my information is down below in the video description. And if you enjoyed your reading, please do hit the like button and share it with your friends and do subscribe because I have videos coming out every single week. And I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Take care. Much love. Hi, group number two. How are you? This is for our prayers, Buddha people. I'm going to stick in here. Thank you. And let's see. What do we have here? Ooh, boom. This is resolution which is nice since this reading is about when life feels too difficult. Resolution is a nice card to have. This card is New Direction. Wow. <sighs> Egyptian Eagle. Hmm. Healing with intention. I quite, quite love this card, guys. Ooh, right order. <sighs> Take flight. Now, there is a theme happening here, and I feel like I'm going to get out just two more cards for you guys and put this whole story together because there's something here with the new directions card that's about change there's resolution happening here um so let's just see what more i'm gonna take these two okay prayers and frequency shift. 
Okay, now for whatever reason, this reading is much more generalized. And what I mean is they're not talking about one thing specific, like this is about relationships or this is about purpose. So for this reading, this is specific to you in what is happening here in that particular area of life that you're having a challenge right now. And with this card, with this card, resolution, I'm going to start with that one because I, that's the most poignant card of the whole reading. And that resolution card is saying, you know, when things are happening in our lives, they can feel very separate. And this is like all the puzzle pieces coming together so that not knowing what to do and not sure what step to take, what changes to make, that's about all these pieces coming together in this sort of um, means like harmony is the, the right word. It creates a harmony where, where this Egyptian eagle is all about gaining a higher perspective. And it's so, and it, these two are from Divine Guidance and Path of the Soul Deck. And so they actually work unbelievably together when I see them side by side because that resolution in these puzzle pieces coming together to form a whole piece and like coming to that place of knowing what to do, what is the right action sort of thing, that puzzle coming together comes with the Egyptian eagle. I'm, you know, this is a beautiful bird spreading its wings and Egyptian eagle is very much about gaining that um, bird's eye view over a situation. So they're kind of telling the two, the same story just with a slightly different twist. And with the Egyptian Eagle card, it talks about changes coming. And it's funny because the other reading was just talking about this. Now, we also have new directions. Okay, so this is resolution through a higher perspective. So it's like, it's like your own perspective changes on your life, on the situation, on what is happening. And you see it with different eyes. It's That's what this is about. It isn't initiated from outside of you by someone else. This is you stepping back and going, okay, you know, the way that I operate, I always perceive things this way. And it's about pulling back, seeing the whole situation and really coming at it to encompass a, a whole view because m there's more than just one way to look at things. And this is a natural unfolding. I have to say it's not something that you're like forcing for yourself, but through that, we have the new directions card, which is moving things into alignment for you. And this is changes with work, with moving, with relationships. This is this can be in any area of your life or all areas of your life. And I really, oh, and, and, <laughs> okay. Not only that, so these are from, also from two different texts. You have two spirals in your, in your reading and spirals, wherever there's spirals, there is growth. There is expansion because like I said earlier, the universe moves in spirals. That's galaxies are created out through spiral or spirals, um, energy, healing energy moves in spirals. So there, and this is called, this card here is called healing with intention. So there's something about you making this movement towards your own healing, the healing your heart, healing your life, which in turn heals your um, ability to really look at what's going on here and to be able to put the whole puzzle together why this is happening here and this here and this here and putting it together and having like this aha kind of moment and through that the energy shifts the energy is shifting now okay I'll just go to the frequency shift card because that is that is 
the energy changing and it's like your dial is getting amped up from you know 87 fm to uh, 109 fm right so as you change that dial and you begin this this movement now whatever it is for each of you individually what it is that spirit's talking about with you this card this card the take flight card is you see this big butterfly here i hope this will show up now there's thousands of these little butterflies all around it that create this one big butterfly and this butterfly um, is connected to this beautiful flower in the heavens and what the, this card is all about social connections getting out social contacts getting yourself out there into the world so there it, it's almost like saying you know you've been in this period of like holding yourself back and you know being afraid or unsure of what to do and like see, starting to see things with this new new goggles on the clarity goggles and that whatever it is that is happening for you the shift is about you getting out because all these tiny butterflies that are here they're all interconnected and they're they're like a link like a chain link fence and there's something about you getting yourself out here into the world and rejoining the world because there's something that it literally feeds you reconnecting with people working with people being with people it's time to rejoin the world i can't say it any more differently than that and this does have a flavor of purpose to it but this can also be like um not just stepping into your path and purpose but you know going through uh, some difficulties in relationship and really pulling back and going i'm never dating again <laughs> like, forget it and then you know coming to see things with new eyes and um changes coming for you and then being willing to put yourself out there because ultimately the right order things are falling into order and that this is from the um, Return of Spirit deck. And really, that's talking about nearly the same thing that the Resolutions card is talking about, because that's talking about things coming together in this kind of harmony. And then you have the Right Order card. So it's like these changes that are coming up are really going to put things in alignment in a way that creates more ease. And the other card that we have here is the Prayers card. And when that prayers card shows up, um, often it's about, you know, we feel, a lot of us can feel like we were just dropped off here on earth and spirit went, well, you have a good life and we'll see you in 80 years. And we feel really alone in our journey. So there's something here that through this, you're building some sort of connection or foundation or stability with spirit and i have to say when the prayers card comes out it's talking about not just um you talking to the universe but having a two-way communication a two-way conversation so and it's funny i i almost feel like i suggest to you guys if you have the time to go read reading number or watch reading number one because there's something that's connected here between these two readings that I, I can't really explain, but I'm just going with what my intuition is telling me to say. However, this is about uh, a two-way communication, a two-way opening where you feel where you feel like you are being heard by the universe. So you know your bigger questions, your deeper questions, getting the answers to those realizing what needs to happen and change in order for these big changes to happen in your life. So I feel like I just want to reassure you that it is moving. The energy is moving. Things are shifting. You are healing these most important parts of yourself in your life that, that need the work. So just hang on. Hold on. It's all happening. It's already beginning to happen. 
Now, this is a personal, or this is a general reading, and if you would like a personal reading, which is more detailed and specific to you, all my information is down below in the video description. And as well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like or share it with your friends and um, subscribe because I have new videos coming out each week. So I wish you much love, take care, and I'll see you soon. Hi, group number three, how are you? For those of you who chose our Harmony Buddha, we will stick him over here and thank you, little Buddha. Okay, let's see which way we're going here. Okay. Archangel Michael. That's always a nice start. Deeper look. Vibration. Vibrational. Sorry. Footprints. This is a path and purpose reading. I'm just gonna let you know now. Oh my gosh, vibrational. This one is vibration. This is vibrational. That's kind of amazing. And we have shifting. Okay, so right off the bat, I am pulling out these two because this is somewhat surprising in my life. <laughs> okay. So this is from the Path of the Soul deck, and this is from the Return of Spirit deck. And you have two cards that are very, very similar, vibration and vibrational. And in both of them, this centerpiece is like you. And this is your energy field. And it's like uh, the universe really wants to hammer this message home here. And because we have footprints, and this is about leaving you a mark on the world. So I'm going to get to that card in a second. But in light of it being about path and purpose, and they hammer you out with two cards that are almost like identical. Um, this card is about coming to realize that who you are as an individual, who you are as a soul, um, you know, your energy, who you are, how you express yourself, what you do, the, the energy of that has an impact in the world that you affect other people in a positive way that a part of who you are is here to help uplift other people in some sort of way. And that through this, the other message with these cards is that through this path of really coming, or through this journey of really coming to step into your path, it puts you into this place of empowerment. And when you rest in that place of empowerment, you subconsciously give other people this message that it's okay for me to claim my greatness. And so I, I have to say that this very much feels like this is about you guys claiming your greatness. Now, with that shifting card, there is there is something moving here and it feels to me like things don't feel solid and stable. When things shift, when the plates of the earth shift because the, the Mother Earth needs to make some adjustments in herself, when those plates shift, it creates earthquakes and the whole ground rumbles and nobody feels solid and stable. So I really feel like a part of this message is though things are feeling difficult or too hard for you right now, just hold on and kind of allow things to be unsteady and unsure because what is happening is life and reality out here outside of you is making some adjustments and shifts. Now I really feel like we need to pull two more cards here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna look a little bit harder into more of the message that's happening here and I feel like I need to take this card and this card. Okay. That's so funny. Okay, so what I was saying with the vibrational card and vibration card 
is that this is about you stepping into your power and stepping into your greatness and that through doing that it really gives other people this permission subconsciously to um to claim their own greatness but i you know i'm pausing here because as i'm speaking i'm feeling this feeling like this secret desire wish dream that of what you want to do for your path and purpose really has a direct influence in in helping other people to become more spiritually aware now with that being said this is the card that, that came out the power card and that is what this whole process is this is about you coming to that place where you're stepping into your power and stepping into your truth and that happens when you really honor that that deeper calling that you think is just some idea that's just you just your crazy dreams and this this whole reading is is saying it absolutely isn't this is that that is the path that is your way that is how you make your mark leave your mark on the world because in some way um okay i'm gonna get to this in some way whatever this is that you're wanting to do um with the archangel michael card coming up like Yes, Archangel Michael comes up when it's about us um, needing to cut cords and relationships and all those things. Uh huh. But in in this context, you know, this card is all these incredible blues, which represent throat chakra. The other thing with this card is that Archangel Michael is about our communication our expression and whether that expression is vocally or through um, the work that we do through creative endeavors through our art there's so many ways that we can really express ourselves and so you know you have this like archangel energy here supporting you in really expressing yourself out in the world and really stepping into your power to really claim what that desire is that you want to do whether or not your head believes you can or not because you know what screw your head we don't want to listen to that anymore this is about really getting into your heart and following your heart because who you are my friends is you are here to have an impact on the world you are here to directly have it a direct impact on people's lives now the yeah, these two cards i love that they're here because with that storm card showing up you see how this looks like um static energy all around the outside okay now that static I've said this when this has shown up before. So when a storm comes and the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes, it it changes the charge of the ions in the air. And after a storm, the air is so crisp and it's so fresh and you know healthy and alive. And this is talking about you having been going through this storm in your heart in your life in your feeling your calling and not knowing what to do this has been a part of your storm along with other things yes however this card what it's talking about is that that has been happening up to this point to ultimately clear out this static energy the static energy that happens in here right the thoughts and stuff like that and really bringing you to a place where you do have, take a deeper look at yourself, at your gifts, at your abilities, about what your um, beliefs around your self-worth. Because when you look at this card, it looks like 
there's a hole cut out in some like chip and you're looking at the hard wiring here beneath and that is what th this whole thing is talking about is that you know taking a look in here and seeing what is running the show in here and also with this you know i really feel it is about you taking a deeper look at how you are um valuing yourself and your gifts because if there's some feeling of devaluation happening here and when that happens when we have fear about really claiming these these desires or ideas about what we want to do it it will often turn outside outside of us and we turn it into fear um oh i couldn't possibly because you know and there's all these fear-based excuses why we can't and that in this it, it's this is shifting out like that storm this rough part that you're going through right now is to shift shift the energy clear out that chaotic energy in here to bring you to that place where things actually move so that you feel solid and stable in actually claiming your path and really coming out here to leave your mark in the world and to communicate whatever it is or express whatever it is you're here to express out here in the world through the the um, job or um, purpose part of your soul what it's calling you to do now this is a this is a general reading and my private readings are a lot more specific to you so if you would like a personal reading all my info is down below in the video description and if you liked the video please do hit the like button and share it with your friends that's fantastic and do subscribe i have new videos coming out each week i wish you guys a lot of love and i will see you again very soon Hi group number four, how are you? For those of you who chose our little wisdom Buddha, he's so cute. Okay, we have to move, move our harmony Buddha out of the way, move over harmony. We have wisdom coming in. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Okay. Dragon guide. The card is pretty amazing when uh, you see it in all the detail. Okay, doves. Feel a relationship theme. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bull guide. Whew. There's a lot of power moving here. Intuition. And love now I see I am one card short so sometimes when I drawing for all so many card piles I lose count so we are going to get ourselves another card that's amazing so you know what while we're at it let's just draw two more cards I feel like I'm gonna take this one and I want this one right here. Okay, so we'll turn those in a minute. The other card that came out is immunity. And I am like, I'm so glad that I did these last few cards, this one on camera, so people can see that I do not cherry pick any of the cards in any of my readings. Um, because it's kind of amazing. This reading is all about relationship, you guys. This is about you guys really coming into your own sense of power. Now, the card, this card here, Bull Guide, when that Bull Guide card comes up, this is talking about needing to take a stand for yourself. Now, this could be something that's happening at work. It could be happening in your friendships or your personal relationships in your family somewhere some or maybe many of your relationships there's somewhere where you're needing to take a stand and stand up for yourself and kind of 
claim, you know, claim your space and claim, um, you know, this is my life, this is how I'm doing it, this sort of thing, or um, it, there's power dynamics happening at play, so it feels like someone is trying to top the other person. And usually when Bull Guy comes up, it's like, you know, feeling overpowered by other people in our lives. So a part of that Bull Guy card is about coming to realize that no one really actually has power over us other than the power that we mentally give them, okay? And with that card, it's talking about, you know, like it uses the, a bull as an analogy, but, you know, a bull out in the pen just stands there and says, I'm a bull, this is my space, and I'm that's it. He doesn't like, argue and yell and freak out and do all these fear tactics to you. He just stands there and claims who he is. And we go, yeah, you're the bull. We get that. Okay. And it really is about having a shift of energy of, you know, stance in really coming to claim yourself. And I know that that can be scary or difficult when you haven't been doing that up to this point but it seems to be very important here in this reading because we also have the dragon guide card now this one is really amazing because inside i don't know if it shows up on camera but you can see the faces of dragons in there and this one is talking about coming to that place where things maybe get a little bit confrontational and needing to like just know that it's okay to breathe a little fire now and then like because when you do you know fire out in the forest the fire burns everything down but then all the seeds are dropped and it's a it's um a time of renewal in a way so I feel like the message that's coming through with this Dragon Guide card is about some sort of renewal in your relationships. And that is whether that is personal or, or professional or friendship in that. But in a, and it's almost like a counter message with a Bull Guide card. It, not that it's counter, but yes, it's okay to breathe a little fire, but the Bull Guide card is more about um, there's no need for like outward aggression, that sort of thing. Um, it's about becoming very centered within yourself and like giving yourself some time to be present with what's happening to see what's really going on here so that we get the, um, we can unhook emotionally from the situation so that we're not reacting. We we are um it's not reactionary it's it's purposeful intentional calm taking care of a situation you know what i mean it's about responding not reacting and if in that response you need to breathe a little fire then you need to do that but with this with this intuition card coming up here I feel like this is a message that's it's saying like you know how things are going on in our lives with people or situations in our relationships and stuff and you just you have that feeling that someone isn't being faithful or your you know your boss is not uh, being on the up and up and straight with you about your raises or whatever is happening that that intuition card is here to say, you know what, really honor your heart, honor, honor that inner voice, honor that quiet whisper that keeps telling you that something is off here, right? And to really go with that, but again, not in a reactionary way. And sitting right beside that intuition card is the love card, right? So ultimately, this is about being able to rise above where you come at the situation from a place, from a heart-centered place and not a headspace, like I was just saying. But 
ultimately when I feel that card along with that intuition card, you know, that's to me, that's, that's telling me that you guys, this, you guys as a group are very empathic. You're very sensitive. Like you're these beautiful, sensitive souls. And it feels like you're getting pushed and pulled in these situations that maybe aren't so healthy for you. And that in that you're acting and reacting in ways that are not healthy. These are not healthy behaviors. And, you know, um, when we are these empathic, sensitive souls, we tend to attract people who mm, bring us a lot of lessons. I'm trying to say that nicely. But there can be a tendency for unhealthy, toxic relationships, even though we're super, super intuitive and knowing it's not when, when it comes to our personal relationships. That's where we kind of will we'll take our inner voice. We see the red flags and we go, oh yeah, here's a whole bouquet of red flags this person's just given me, but I'm just going to toss them. I'm going to ignore myself, my intuition, my gut feeling on this person. I'm just going to charge ahead and do it because, you know. And that's about, so this is about, with that love card being there, it is about unhooking so you aren't reacting. Unhooking so you're not getting drained and sucked into the drama, trauma and stuff that goes on with that. And literally how that came out, the immunity card came out after it. And that immunity card is, that immunity card is, a, it's just like a virus, okay? This is kind of like representing this virus. And when a virus enters our physical body, our autoimmune system responds and says, hey, we have a foreign body in here. Uh, it's taking us down. It makes us feel terrible. We need to get rid of it. And up comes antibodies, surrounds that virus and kicks it out. So what this is talking about with that immunity card is about coming to a place where you do not let the energy, emotion, thoughts, words, um, situations from people and events and situations outside of you to enter into you, into your world, into your heart space, into your mind and take it on. It's, it's about not allowing that to happen, to, to take it on. You don't own their judgments, beliefs, perceptions, their actions, um, their choices with anyone, right? Because we are each our own individual person and our own each individual soul. And how you choose to react in these situations, how you choose to respond is everything. And it's about learning to be able to detach to become present with the emotions that are happening within you that propel you to take actions that, that you aren't maybe aren't so proud of, right? But with that immunity card comes a really a, a beautiful, quiet strength so that you can make the choices and decisions you need to make. And it's, and it's like, I do this with love. I love, I'm gonna love myself first and foremost and anything that I do out here is coming from a place of love now I want to give you guys this beautiful encouraging card because with the doves card the dove card is um, mainly talking about cycling from the old to the new so there is changes that are going to be coming here in your relationships and those changes really um, are because of the changes that you are beginning to make through this awareness of like, holy crap, see what's going on. I, you know, the common denominator here is me. So it's me I'm going to work on. So there is changes coming with that. But with that doves card, you see how it looks like, almost like these two doves, their tails are connected and they're coming up to touch touch their beaks and to me it feels like there's this this positive um positive changes coming through in your relationships where um through this introspection and really honoring your inner voice and following what you know you need to do that it creates this doves are peace harmony and love right and yeah and you've got the wisdom Buddha 
and it's through the wisdom, your own innate wisdom and understanding that's coming through the situation that it brings these changes to your relationship, guys, that are bring it way up and into more into par with your heart and it's congruent with how you really want to live and have your relationships out in your life. <sighs> okay. So the next card here is the um, rejuvenation card. And with that rejuvenation card is healing. And I feel like that so beautifully represents what I just finished speaking about. Because with that change that comes in your relationship here that's coming up. And whether that whether that means that you ended this relationship because it is not salvageable and you move on to create new healthy relationships or you're actually able to alter this relationship in a healthy way it's going to be different for each of you guys because this is a general reading but either way there is some peace coming for you and i mean peace in your heart and soul over this and not only that this card because it's a spiral we've had a ton of spirals showing up in the readings today so you know it's it really is suiting to when life feels too hard that there's all this healing energy moving but this is talking about just hold on because the energy is shifting here and you're going to be coming at life from a place of having energy and passion and stability and you know harmony in your heart like I want to reassure you that restoration is happening for you. This is happening. It's not a maybe it will. And with this last card, with this star seed card showing up, now um, this star seed card normally it's normally it's talking about feeling like the odd man out, and in a way that can be happening here, like feeling like you know. You're treated differently than other people or these people treat you differently and and not feeling like you're fitting in 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 a way so yes that message is there but I also feel because this this card is a lot about being your own unique person and owning that that you are different you don't you aren't a sheeple you don't just follow the crowd and do things the way everyone expects you to and that also comes, oh, I picked up the love card. I love the love card. I meant to pick up this one. But that also means dealing with these relationships and situations, not in a way that everyone else, uh, you know, everyone else has their opinions, ideas, and beliefs about what you should do and how you should do it and how you should be dealing with these people. And it's like, no. You're your own person. You are one intuitive little spirit here, right? Follow your own heart, your instinct, your gut on what needs to be done and happen. And even if it doesn't fall within, you know, the regular norms of society or what they expect, okay? And there is a lot, ultimately, a lot of this message is about embracing your uniqueness and your intuitive gifts here, okay? Because that, I mean, when you come from that place of really loving yourself and honoring yourself and honoring how unique you are as a soul and your gifts, your intuitive gifts, that you really step into your stride and it really changes the energy of yourself and your life. Now, this was a general reading. Um, if you liked the reading, please do hit the like button and share the reading with your friends. I really appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, which is more specific to you as an individual, I am available for personal readings. My info is down there in the video description. I wish you guys much love. You can get through this and beautiful changes are coming for you guys. Okay, a renewal of your relationships in a healthy, happy way. Okay, I'm sending you guys much love. I will see you soon. Take care.